<laughs> FHO cocksuckers. FHO, let's ride. What up, man? It's Thursday morning. I'm here in Shreveport. It's your boy, Big Cell FHO, HNRC, Ground Pounder, Club Brother, Husband, Father, Lover of this HD lifestyle, um, and all of that. Um, I'm here in Shreveport. I broke down last Thursday, left Atlanta, coming to Shreveport. Um, last Thursday to hang with the Shreveport chapter of Second and None to head out to the Houston chapter of Second and None anniversary, um, which was last weekend. And like I said, in the process of that, my bike broke down. We got it to the shop, and I continued the trip in a rental car um, and had, came on back or whatever. Shout out to Houston Second and None anniversary. Um, you guys did your thing. Shout out to Shreveport, who's been more than gracious to me. But today's topic is about ground pounding. Um, before I left, we started a discussion on FHO about what, who is a ground pounder and what makes a person a ground pounder. Me personally, I believe ground pounding is a three-part thing or a three-part concept. Post, the trip, I mean pre-trip and post. Meaning that you have to be, your bike has to be prepared to take the trip. Then your bike has to take the trip, and then once you come back, you have to go over it and prepare it to take the next trip, or just go over it to keep it, and uh, to make sure that what was done on the trip is everything is in order. Ground power is not just about riding a motorcycle, riding long distances. Hell, I don't care if you ride from here to Delaware, or here to the end of the earth. It's more to it than that. It's not just about sitting in somebody sitting in a seat and riding. Um, we had this discussion about if you borrow somebody's bike to ride. Now, I'm going to tell you this. If you have a friend that will let you borrow their bike to ride from Atlanta to California and back, then that's a damn good friend. And I would consider t those ground pound and miles because the maintenance and all that stuff had to be done by you and or them or whatever circumstances may be. But very rarely will you find somebody who will allow you to, to ground pound. <laughs> from the, those distances, and vice versa, California to Atlanta and back, or whatever. But if you do, then so be it. But um, ground pounding is a state of mind. Um, it also takes money to ground pound. It takes time, effort. You have to, you know, your family. Um, they have to be on board for you to ground pound. Your job, if you have one, it has to be on board for you to ground pound. Um, your whole entire situation, because it's not just about riding a motorcycle. Again, like I said, preparation from gear to clothing to shoes to everything involved. Um, it, it's a lot into it, man. It, it, it's really a lot going on with the ground pounding thing, man. It's, like I said, a lot of people get it misconstrued with um, just simply riding a motorcycle. Um, now, local riding, you know, around town here and there, you borrow somebody's bike, you do four, 500 miles, bring it back to them. That's fine and dandy if you borrow 10, 11 people bikes to get four or five thousand miles accumulated. But does that make you a ground pounder? To me, no. You gotta look at people like Smiley, Kenfolk, um, who spend money on a on a weekly, on a daily, on a monthly to take these journeys. Not even the money just for gas. That's the that's the easy part. We're saying the money on preparing the bike, the money on when they get to this destination they gotta get an oil change and have the bike checking out, so send it to the shop to get it done. Um, the time and energy away from their family, rearranging the schedules, rearranging you know the job schedules, um, making sure the wife or somebody's able to, to feed the dogs, and I mean it, it's a lot of stuff involved, man. Um, one thing I want to say this, man, is much love to Second and None, especially my man Swift from Second and None, a youngster man who got his head on straight, got it going on out here, man, just as a man. Um, because this trip would have been unbearable for me if I had to uh, have to pay for a hotel room for the week I've been gone, um, feed myself basically for the week I've been gone. It would have been totally unbearable. Paying 800 something dollars for parts and then paying 400 something dollars for labor, that's $1,200 that I did not expect um, to spend on this trip, uh, all in the name of ground pounding and representing for my club. Now, a lot of people say, well, hell, if you was repping for your club, shouldn't the club pay for it? No, they shouldn't. Ground pounding is a choice that we make as individuals. 
Yes, we do it. I mean, I do it for my club. I do it for the love of me. I love the open road. I love to ride my motorcycle. But yes, I love having my club on my back with me as I travel. But are they responsible? No, it's, it's my duty and my job to um, to keep my bike in working order, functioning, and, and everything so that I can make these trips and do these trips. And that's what I'm telling you. This ground pounder thing is more, it's, it's a financial obligation, it's a mental obligation, and, and, and it's a lot of stuff involved in it. It's not just about seat time. It's not just about, you know, being able to ride long distances. It's way more to it than that, man. It's a lifestyle that you have to live, and you damn sure have to love it. Um, like my man Smiley told me um, in one of the past interviews y'all saw, it's not for everybody. I used to think ground pounding was for everybody. That everybody should want to ground pound. Everybody should want to do it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it's not. Um, again, this is just my personal opinion, my evaluation. We open for discussion as always. Y'all know Big Sale, man. We're going to talk about it, keep it real, keep it 100. Um, but from one ground pounder to a possible ground pounder or the up-and-coming ground pounders, be prepared to be alone. <laughs> be prepared to uh, break down. Be prepared to be in the shop. Be prepared to do all of that. Um, and be prepared to handle all of that on your own. You know, it's nobody else's responsibility. It's nobody else's obligation. Um, and and, it, and it's it's crazy. If you do have a club that, you know, they say, hey, well, we're going to see you on this trip and we got you, then you are in a, a blessed situation. But ground pounder, that's what I am. That's what I love to do. Uh, hopefully, beautiful will be done today or tomorrow, and I can continue my journey. Uh, pound for Pound's anniversary is this weekend. I would love to be a part of that. A lot of people always say, you've been gone for a week, why don't you just go home? That's on the way home, <laughs> per se. But anyway, it's just ground pounding what I love. It's your boy Big Cell, F-H-O-H-N-I-C, Lil Smiley, Lil Debo, King Eminem, of course, much respected. Um, much love to my club, my club brothers, King of the South. Um, much love to Second and Nine, Shreveport Chapter especially my man Swift, especially my man Swift. President Cruz, I thank you for your hospitality. The whole chapter, I thank you for your hospitality. Houston, love you guys. Dallas, love you guys. And I'll be back and forth as long as God give me breath. This ain't going to stop. But I love you guys. It's your boy again, Big Cell FHO, HNIC, Graham I'm gone. All right, what's going on, man? It's uh, Friday morning. I'm here in Shreveport. Um, I'm getting ready to head out. It's your boy, Big Cell, FHO, HNIC, Lil Debo, Lil Smiley, King Eminem. All right, this is part two to my uh, yesterday's definition of a ground pounder. Yesterday, I spoke on the three phases, <coughs> the pre, the post, and the pre, the trip, and the post, PTP. Okay. Um, and again, this is this is this is no official documented, you know, thing. This is just my personal, you know, how I feel about ground pounding. Um. First off, the advantages of ground pounding. The advantages of ground pounding give you the ability to go anywhere, and recognize and realize and obtain and be a part of to embrace to capture the love of what this whole thing was about this MC this MC shit was about um, when you are a ground pounder you're able to go out of state and people will put you up people will allow you to stay with them people will feed you people will if you drink I don't drink but if you drink people will get you, they will let you drink <coughs> When you're a true ground pounder, when when you have established yourself as an individual, even though you're part of a club, then the love that you get is 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 unending. I mean, because again, true enough, I am part of a club, but true enough, I have established myself as my own individual um, for for ground pounding. So I guess those are kind of the spoils of my rewards that I get to go anywhere. And um, I'm recognized for that, and people respect me for that. 
and they put me up and they and they you know do this and do that okay um again yesterday we spoke on being a ground pounder is not just seat time but it's the whole entire mind state it's the the physical aspect of it the mental aspect of it it's the cash that has to be spent aspect of it because it costs you know you got to buy the clothing to prepare to take the trip take the trip prep you know get the bike done tires and you know maintenance oil changes then you know depending on how far your trip is um and then once you come back home you have to do all those things again so that you can still continue to ride your bike um the debate about how many miles it takes to become a ground pounder or you know just because you know it's short shorter trips versus longer trips that's something probably we can argue from here until you know whenever that's not that's not what I'm pushing the line on. I'm pushing the line on on respecting for all of you cats who who are not ground pounders who confess that I said I'll never ride my bike like that. I'll never ride to the West Coast or you know, you crazy as hell, you know, blah 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 blah. This is for you to have an understanding of why we feel like we're special. Because I know I feel like I'm special. I know I should be considered different from everybody. I think I should be considered and highly regarded as one of the baddest club members that any club could have. I know my club um, should appreciate having me, um, and they should be honored to have a person that me that will do what they won't do, what, what that what most won't do. Um, you know, some people tell me, some people don't. It is what it is. But regardless, I continue to do what I do, as well as some of the other ground pounders I mentioned, Ken Folk, Smiley. Um, it's a few. My boy OGT Cone. Um, and even a lot of the cats from the West Coast now are starting to get this way. You're going to be surprised this summer as some of the brothers who's contacting me and said that they're going to take these long trips. I've inspired them to take them. Um, Smiley has inspired to people to take these trips and to get on these motorcycles and ride them. And again, however your club is set up, whatever the purpose of your club is or, or whatever it is, this is not a disrespect or a diss to any other club or to to the rule or the definition of what is or what really isn't. This is just, again, what I'm saying and how I feel. Okay. So, with all that being said, um, there's one phrase I want to leave you with. Um, one of my club brothers told me the other day when I called, he told me, it's better to be stranded somewhere than to be stranded nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, he said that, and and it wasn't in a and it wasn't in a vicious way. It was actually in a in a encouraging way. Another thing I told you guys yesterday was we spoke on if you are ground pounder, if you are an ambassador per se for your club, should the club pay for your breakdown and to get you home and all this and all that? No, they shouldn't. It's not the club's responsibility. Well, today, after God intervening and me putting my mind to it, I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna leave y'all with this. It is not the club's responsibility to get me back home and get my motorcycle fixed so that I can get back home. But it is my brother's responsibility to get my motorcycle fixed and to get me back home. A lot of y'all won't understand what I just said, so I'm going to say it again slowly. It is not the club's responsibility to fix my motorcycle and get me back home. It is my brother's responsibility to fix my motorcycle and get me back home. Yeah, marinate on that one for a little while. All right, again, it's part two. It's your boy Big Sale headed to Memphis. It's supposed to be raining and some other stuff, but we still gonna go represent for pound for pound. Uh, we're not gonna let the weather uh, take that from us. Um, it just is what it is, man. Oh, here we go, right here. Eric. It's your boy Big Cell, F H O H N I C, Lil Smiley, Lil Debo, King Eminem, um, and some more stuff. Signing off. Enjoy your day. I'll let you later. F H O. Let's ride.